good afternoon. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the notification bell. And today, we got something to talk about. And that's the pros and cons of the new Model Y 2.0. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So, all right, let's talk about it. The Model Y 2.0. And here are some of the pros and cons of this new build that Giga Berlin is gonna be producing. So, all right, let's start off with the first thing. One pro is definitely gonna be that it's gonna have extended range due to the fact that it's gonna be using the new 4680 batteries. Uh, those batteries uh, can store more energy and the distance traveled should be further with this new platform. The other uh, pro is basically they're going to look at all the problems that the previous Model Y had and they're going to fix all the problems and make a new vehicle. So that's, that's awesome. Um, I think this is going to be equipped with the all Tesla vision because now Tesla is basically uh, relying on um, vision to do their autopilot system because they found that radar was basically giving them a lot of problems. Basically the sensors were conflicting, the, the, the camera and the radar sensors were not needed so basically they, they could do the work with just the camera so that's that's great that the, the new model y will probably come like that the other pro is that the new model y is going to be painted better because um elon musk made a tweet that they're going to change the way the they paint their vehicles and model uh y in berlin should be the first to have the all new paint job so let's talk about some of the cons and some of the cons are tesla has decided to basically make the model y in one casting piece that's basically has the battery integrated into the the uh, the cast so the benefits are is that it's gonna be lighter but I do see Tesla having a problem and the problem that I see is that if you ever get into a t-bone accident or you ever get into any type of accident it's gonna be instant total loss because there's gonna be no way to repair the, the vehicle. Uh, the other problem that I see is fires. Now that they're going to be using bigger batteries that have more energy, if your vehicle was to catch in a fire, it's going to be way more explosive. So if you think that um, a burned down vehicle is bad wait until the 46 uh batteries get, get come into play so that's something that we have to worry about the other thing is tesla has a warranty saying that they will swap out your batteries if they are not producing up to 75 percent of their current capacity but with an integrated battery and how are they going to be able to swap the battery? They're going to have to give you a new car. So, because this battery is built inside the, uh, the structure. So, it's, not, it's, it's going to be a permanent set battery. It's not going to be like they're going to be able to swap it out. So, I think Tesla's going to have to change their, um, their warranty. And I, I do find that they, they, they probably will make some adjustments. Um, I think that Tesla should have gone the swappable battery path like Neo because 
that platform seems like it's the best for an electric vehicle because um, that way you can swap all your batteries if your batteries degrade and it's easy to swap out it's not built into the structure so if they if you ever if your if your battery degrades a lot faster um, they can easily swap it out so this is a disadvantage that um, Tesla is gonna have to do because if, if they're building the battery into the structure it's 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 gonna be basically impossible to uh, to swap it out unless they give you a new vehicle so all right I just wanted to make a, a short video describing the pros and cons of the new Tesla Model Y I want to know what do you guys think um, are you guys excited for the new version 2 Model Y I'm actually holding out on purchasing a vehicle I'm waiting for the new version 2 that's when I'm gonna do my upgrade because there's I see there's no point of buying a vehicle right now I'm in a model 3 and uh, I love the vehicle so far um, so I'm just gonna wait for the new model Y to come out with the 4680 battery and I'm gonna uh, choose to upgrade so that was another short video that's all I gotta say so thank you and have a nice day Hey, if you want to win a $50 Amazon gift card, all you have to do is like, share, comment, and subscribe. And the first 1,000 subscribers will be entered into a draw to win this $50 gift card.